beautiful. the seamster at your service, my lord. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. My lord, did you see it? The... the herb tree? I... Oh, I don't really have the words for this. But I was so... so dazzled, I felt something stir in my breast. The herd tree is waiting for you, my lord. I know it, I do. I feel it in my bones. Oh, please, take the throne of Elden Lord. My lord, have you ever wished you might be born again? Well, they say that Renala of Rhea Lucaria has the power to help people be reborn. Oh, me? Reborn? Oh, look at me. When you're this ugly, well, being reborn, it would hardly make a difference, I'm afraid. My lord, in all honesty, what do you think of me? Am I fit to serve a lord such as you in all my ugliness? Must I be reborn, no matter what ill fate awaits me? Oh, I'm such a fool. I don't even have answers to the simplest of questions. Going already, my lord. Please, do be safe on your journeys. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Bok the seamster, at your ready to make... Did I just hear my mum speaking? Thank you very much. Mum was always the only one who said I was beautiful. And now, my dear Lord, let me hear her voice. Oh, please, if I may dream just once. Do you feel the same way my mum did, my Lord? Do you think I'm beautiful, despite these looks? My lord, my dear lord, I, Bok the Seamster, am forever in your service. May the throne of Elden Lord be yours.
Mr. Mutter. Please, I implore you, continue. Continue your reflections, your rhythms. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. Oh, was that you? Sorry, I hardly noticed. I'm a little shaken since the Master ceased his movements. The Master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the Master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The Master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The Master only has me. And here I fail him. Who exactly was the Master? His finger has remained. But the Erd Tree. Why must we were on the ferry? Did you need... This is a volume of incantation. It's good to see your enthusiasm. Indeed, I will happily take it off your hands. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Erd Tree. Very well, I cannot afford to maintain my innocence any longer. I must dirty my hands to test my faith. Even if it offers only the most meager of hints, I will do whatever I can to help my master.
Oh, was that? Yes, the man after coming all this way. Why now, of all times? Who exactly was Radigan? The master is stumped. His finger has remained. But, oh, the Erd tree. Heart of the golden. Oh, why must these? We were on the very. Who ex. The master. His finger has. But the Erd tree. Why must. We were on the. Was that you? Yes, the master is. And after coming all. Who exactly what? The master. His finger has remained. <sighs> but the Erd tree. Why, we were on the fair. <laughs> did you do to the master? Well, not that I'm complaining. Master's finger moves again, resuming his cogitation. More than good enough for me. I haven't the words to thank you. So I'd like to pass this on to you instead. A glimpse into the heart of the Golden Order. Documented by yours truly. To think that Radigan was Marika herself. Or at least... Such is all I can interpret from the rhythm and calculus of his finger. How would such a thing even have been possible, I wonder? Sadly, I cannot comprehend it myself. Do you have a fuller understanding of the matter? Oh... <sighs> well, either way, I can continue my documentation. In truth, it matters very little whether I understand the Master's thoughts or not. I am merely his scribe. It is my sole and unwavering purpose.
We meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. I would have you call upon me and it is the only... Now you are a recusant true. I am pleased. Did you see her? The girl, Raya, with her true face? Hmm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Please, her true vi My serpentine form were secrets. Known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets. Please keep them. Worthy tarnished. It is the run it. Ah. Oh, I. It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms, henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? I, um... I can tell. You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I... After much internal debate, I've come to realize... Revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue, that my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands, their pale complexion, a far cry from any warriors, the shame of House Hoslaw. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslaw is told in blood, after all. I always resent a pale, but that won't be the case. You still alive? Well.
Hello again. Welcome to Pat. You hunted down Tragoff. Are you certain? No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Have some rest by all means. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? Hello again. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. Here you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. <laughs> to find
My serpentine. The secrets. Now I share the secrets. Keep. I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. 
Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the Shardbearers vying for power in the wake of the Shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come a day too soon. Terribly sorry, but would you mind giving me some time to myself? I haven't achieved anything at all thus far. Even though I've dirtied my hands time and time again, I'm still yet to achieve anything. Perhaps I am a fool after all. No, it's worse than that. As things stand, I've given up on the path of revenge and sullied the name of my house. What an easy mark I must have been. How did it take me so long to realize, honestly? There's just no end to my foolishness, is there? Perhaps I am a fool after no. It's worse than what an easy mark. Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. You still alive? Well... You... Well... Forgive me. My mind never ceases to churn of late. 
Hmm. Well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent, just like me. Does the volcano manor hide some secret that Lady Tanith has kept from me? I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not? Born by the grace of a king. Lady Tanith, was I not? Born by... If you follow this, it cannot... She said that. To you. I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Zarias has placed her trust that some things you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. 
Take it. It's yours by right. <laughs> Let us tread the path of the recusant together, till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. You're still alive, I... Well... There you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? Aha, your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. There's no reason to the tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. <laughs> 